Hello everyone, uh, once again, welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Reviving Destinies, yeah, we revive destinies. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, what you can do actually if you want to stop smoking or drinking alcohol actually. So that's, that's what I'm going to talk about. So uh, I'm going to give advices actually to it will be a very short video but uh, I'm going to make sure that I clarify things actually very well if you didn't understand or if you want more questions you can raise it on the comment section. So the advice when you want to be, when you want to leave smoking, when you want to uh, leave drinking alcohol, so that's the advice which I'm going to give. That's the advice which I'm going to give actually. So that's, that's, that's how it is actually. So <clears throat> we know very well that uh, when you are a, a, a committed Christian actually, somebody who has a, dedicated to, a dedication to serve God actually, I don't think there is somebody who, 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 is, who, who, is, uh, uh, who really have a future in, uh, in, uh, in drinking or smoking continuously so everyone who is committed to serve the lord i always think that uh, they always want to do their best actually to leave uh, alcohol and everything so we know that we cannot there's no way we can just come there and judge people actually f for drinking or smoking but rather we will come there actually tell them advices be on their side, uh, be the brother sexually to them, show the brotherhood to them and love. So that's the advice which I'm going to give you. So I have two advices, I'm going to branch those advice into two parts. So uh, the first advice is association and the second advice is commitment actually. Uh, those two things, those two pillars are what I'm going to uh, uh, those two subtitles are what I'm going to advise you based on. So, first of thing, actually, when you want to leave smoking and uh, drinking, uh, uh, respect your association, actually, at first instance. Remember, association is a very, very powerful thing. Even when you look at, at the biblical point of view, uh, <clears throat> the Bible says, bad company destroy a good character. In Spanish, we say me chame, me ve, isinya So that's 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 how it is. So uh, uh, and also in the book of Proverbs, the Bible says, "He he who walks with the wise become wise, but the companion of fools suffer harm." Actually, so that's that's how it is. Into that instant, I'm not saying people who are smoking are fools. I'm just uh, telling you of how influential the association is. So remember, even most of people who, who began smoking, I didn't say all of them, most of them actually who are young, most of teenagers, they were influenced by association. They, uh, they, were, they, they did this because of the pressure they got from their peers. So peer pressure. So that's, that's, that's how it is. Me, I've never, uh, I never lived the life of smoking or drinking actually. Me actually, I born again. Uh, uh, while I was very, very young, actually, I was born again uh, at my earlier high school age in 2014, and I have never encountered such things. I, I just became committed after born again, actually, uh, despite I met challenge, uh, uh, temptations on the way, but uh, the commitment was there, actually. So that's, that's how, it, how it is. But uh, association is what is very important, actually. For you to live a uh, Christian, uh, for you to live smoking and everything. So uh, even if something, if association can introduce you into smoking, the same association also can also help you into living that. Remember, it's not association only, uh, but it's just that association is very important. Make sure that you don't engage yourself with people who smoke if you want, if you want to live smoking. So if you uh, engage or if you become committed to friend zone people who smoke, it will be difficult for you to leave smoking because 
they, uh, they will stimulate that addiction in you actually. So remember, smoking, uh, drinking, uh, those two, they are associations, they are, they, are, they are addictions. So the moment you become in a place where addiction is entertained, it will be stimulated. So that's, that's how it is. So it will be stimulated, that addiction. So make sure that you are in a place where that addiction uh, is not nourished. So where the addiction is not nourished, of course, it will diminish. So that's, 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 that's how it is, actually. So second thing, which is the last thing, uh, commitment. So addiction is killed by commitment. So, if you are committed in smoking, then you want to kill that commitment of smoking or addiction of smoking. Be committed in something which will counteract that smoking. You get what I'm saying? So, if you are committed in something, uh, trust me, the, certain, the best thing to leave certain things is just to do certain things which are opposing those things. So, that's, that's how it is. So... If you know that you are addicted in smoking, uh, 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 be committed in things like hard work, academics, studying, working. If you are you are somebody who works, you are not a scholar. Be committed in reading the Bibles and praying. So those commitments actually, prayer actually, the commitment of reading the Word of God and prayer is the best commitment. That I can guarantee you. So the moment you engage in continuous prayers, fastings, and reading the Bible, that addiction actually, it won't have a place actually because your life will be occupied with another commitment. So uh, sometimes you, you won't even have time to smoke. You won't even have time to associate with people who smoke. Why you will have time to associate with people who you read the Bible with, who you pray with, then that thing actually, that the, the, the polarity of, of that addiction actually, it, it, it will uh, gradually diminish or it will gradually fall actually. So, 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 so that's, that's, that's how it is actually. So the moment you become there, then uh, trust me, you will live a, a happy life and you will get out of this. So the simple way is, is just, if you are very, very cold, if you feel very, very cold, then uh, sometimes wearing different, uh, cloth, uh, different clothes actually won't change anything. The best thing is just to leave a place which is cold and go to a place which is warm. That one would be the best thing to do. So that's, that's how it is actually. So that's what I can say so far. Please, if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it. Subscribe if you did not subscribe. Please click the notification button. That's, that's how it is. Shalom.